Welcome to another developer update. I'm Jeff from the Overwatch team. We've taken you to a lot of places in Overwatch. We've taken you to King's Row and Ilios and Hollywood. But today we're taking you someplace very exciting, to the moon. So we've heard a lot of requests for more maps and more story, and we're very excited to bring you the Horizon Lunar Colony because we feel like we're delivering on two promises there. One, it's another great assault map, and we really felt like the game needed another assault map. Uh, we're playing around with some really fun elements in this assault map. Um, for example, both uh, the attackers and defenders on the first point that you're trying to capture will have some interesting high ground options. Now, it's not the world's best high ground for the attackers, but there are some good situations that we think uh, heroes like Widowmaker will have some, some definite good opportunities um, with the high ground there. We also are trying some different things on the, the latter point of the map as well. Um, there's a really neat high ground approach and defender high ground uh, scenario that you can set up um, on that point B. So we're really looking forward to seeing how teams approach. Um, the second point, the second capture point, also has a number of low ground options and flanking options. So we know that sometimes in a map like Hanamura, it can feel very restricted where a team approaches that final point. And we're hoping that this map that takes place on the moon will give you some more options approaching that second point. Now, the other thing that I know everybody is excited about, when, when you talk about the moon, you have to instantly talk about gravity because we know that there's lower gravity on the moon. And we start to think about, you know, how might that play in Overwatch? Well, we we explored a lot of different options for the moon map. At, at first we had low gravity in the whole map and we felt like it sort of turned the game a little bit into a gimmick. And uh, while it was fun for a little bit, uh, it, it broke the game in some ways while fun um, that took away from the competitive nature of Overwatch and sort of the solid feel of the game. But we didn't want to get rid of that altogether. So as you're approaching point A um, on, on this lunar map, you'll notice that there are some airlock doors off to your right if you're an attacker. Now, if you go out those airlock doors, uh, don't worry, for whatever magical reason, you can still breathe out there and you won't instantly implode. But we've enabled the low gravity on that section, and we think we've struck a really good middle ground here where it's a rare kind of out-of-the-way flanking route, but it will allow for some of, the, some of those cool player story moments where the low gravity is enabled and you're out there on the surface of the moon. So you have a lot of fun playing around with that. Now, I know that there's some of you who are thinking, but Jeff, you just said we're gonna have, you, you played around with low gravity on the whole map and it was fun for a while, but felt like a gimmick, you know, let us try it. Well, of course we're gonna let you try it. So as when we add the, the map, the, the new map, we're also gonna be adding an arcade card uh, for you for at least a week. We might keep it around longer than that. That will enable low gravity, not only on the Horizon Lunar Colony map, but on all of our maps. So you can play in low gravity um, all over the game and sort of experience that um, and you know form your own thoughts on what you think is awesome and maybe what you think is kind of ridiculously uh, broken yet fun at the same time. We will also be adding uh, gravity options to the custom game system as well. So you can use the custom game browser to find new and uh, fun uses of altered gravity too. So hopefully all this will be a lot of fun for you. Now I said there were kind of two elements to the the Lunar Colony map that were interesting to us. One was obviously all the gameplay that I've been talking about, but the others are the story ramifications. So as some of you know, Winston grew up on the moon and Winston got his name from a famous scientist named Dr. Harold Winston. We hope to tell more of this backstory through the contextual storytelling of the map, the things that you run into, the areas that you'll explore. If, if uh, you're the type who's paying attention to detail and you watched the animated short that we called Recall, you'll even be able to find Winston's room in this map when he was uh, a little baby scientist growing up 
you'll be able to find his space. You can read the computer screens to learn more about some of the other scientists. In some of the other spawn rooms, you'll see the spacesuits of the scientists, and you'll pick up on some of their names, and you'll either even pick up on um, some names and some potential mysteries of some of uh, Winston's peers, some of the other uh, gorillas that were also part of the Horizon experiment. Um, we hope to show all of this. The attacker's spawn room takes place um, in the exact spot with the giant telescope and the huge bay doors that open up and show planet Earth that you might have remembered from the animated short recall. So we really tried to capture a lot of these moments and show more of the Overwatch universe, which obviously didn't just take place on the moon or on Earth, but took place on the, the moon as well. So we think it's gonna be a fun map for many, many different reasons. Uh, we hope you have a blast trying it out. If there are gameplay issues and it's not working correctly, I hope we prove with Eichenwald that we will go back, we will adjust the map as needed. Obviously, when you as a tremendous player base get your hands on this map, you're gonna show us things that we never were able to, to discover on our own. So we're anxiously awaiting not only watching what you guys do with the map, but playing the map along with you. Um, and lastly, in closing, remember that in space, everyone can hear Torbjorn scream.